Adam with Adam Solar Rides here. I'm gonna show you the Blink Acton Quattro, all wheel drive, electric skateboard. I just took my first real outdoor ride on it. It is a, uh, it's something special. This board does about over 23 miles an hour, four hub motors, supposedly 2000 watts of motor power. Very quick acceleration. Let's do for the total stop. Very impressed with this board. It's, I don't know, just next level e toy for me. People that were good at riding these. I mean, I, the guys that do it in New York City, I don't get that. Maybe once, once you ride a bit, you get used to it. It's so fast. Breaking. Yeah, I like. I just love to feel regen, knowing it's charging back up, it, and it stops so good. The all-wheel drive, just from any other board I've ridden, it's just a whole nother level with all the wheels grabbing. It's really smooth, really intuitive. Um, nice fit and finish. It feels more like a machine or an electric vehicle than it does a skateboard. The app, you can turn those lights on and off. Push it too, it's just hub motor, so it'll spin very consistent. So this is another thing I think is overlooked on the, the whole e-skate thing, is with Regen, you can come down these huge hills. You don't have to worry about stopping. Light back on that throttle. Love it, love it. What a ride. That was great. What a ride. That was great. First really nice day here in Pittsburgh. Uh, it's like 80 some degrees in April. So a couple, you know, parting thoughts or just starting thoughts really after riding this thing for about three miles today. Battery life seemed pretty good. Still need to do a range test, get a better feel. I haven't actually even uh, charged it since I got it. Board almost feels, I don't know. Handling it when it's not on the pavement's tricky. It's heavy, it's rigid. I mean, look at those lines. Suspension's pretty neat. You know, definitely feels really stable. Uh, I'm definitely hesitant. I've wrecked on an electric skateboard before, so. I'm, I'm, I'm hesitant on unstable boards at speed, but this thing seems pretty solid. And I, I do think a lot of it has to do with those four motors. The rest of the Blink lineup, uh, the light, my first electric skateboard, the S and the S2s in the box behind you there. Uh, these are some great boards. I really like the S. It's not gonna climb a big hill like that, but the, the versatility, just how light it is to pick it up, take it with you, that you can get, you know, if you're in a, a semi-flat environment, or even just for slowing you when you go down hills, it's a great option. That price point's gonna get dropped big time too. These were 700 originally, they were on sale, uh, and the new retail pricing starting soon is really good. Um, the Blink Light, my first electric skateboard, this is more like a kid's toy, but 
you know, I think I had this one in Florida and was ripping around on it and really had a good time because that was my first and only board. Didn't know how uh, extreme things got so quick. So what do you think, electric skateboard, the one wheel? What's the, what's the better ride? They're both their own thing, guys. I'm more partial to one wheel still. But if I was on a, a certain style commute, I prefer the one wheel still, I think, but if you're on a certain style commute, like if you have a really nice, uh, you know, street where you can get the speed, the 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 electric skateboards are going to beat out the one wheel for safety and speed, I think. It's doing full speed on the one wheel is a little crazier. So I'd say higher average top speed on an electric skateboard uh, for commuting as long as you got decent terrain. Um, if you got curbs or, you know, one wheel, you could have a cut through the woods route, cut through the woods route.